Today's video is all about how to perform a stage combat strangle. What's up warriors? Welcome to the channel. I hope you're enjoying what we do here and if you are then please remember to support us by liking, sharing and subscribing so that we can bring you more content. So this week's video is all about how to perform a strangle for stage combat. So let's get started. One, position. Now there are many positions and different ways you can perform this move, but today we're gonna to go with the simplest and most common. So to perform this move, first label yourselves A, attacker, and B. Then stand opposite each other and you're ready to learn the rest. Two, eye contact. Make sure you and your partner have eye contact so they know when the strangle is about to happen and when to react. It's very important you have eye contact in this move as you and your partner need to work together to get your timings right, making sure you are both ready to perform the move. Three, placement. This is an important part of this move and is essential for safety and the effect. So person A, take both your hands and create a V shape like so. Then place them on your partner's chest just below the collarbone, making sure we do not use all our strength because it is just a light tap. Once the hands are placed on the chest, we can begin to slide them up to person B's neck, making sure we keep that V shape. So now your hands are resting on the upper half of person B's chest just between the collarbones. We create the V-shape and place it here so we do not actually strangle our partner. The V-shape allows there to be room between the hands and the throat. It is very important that you keep this shape so you do not harm your partner as this could have a dangerous effect. Four, reaction. Now to make this move work, the reaction is key. So person B, this is all down to you. Once person A has placed their hands on your chest and starts to slide them up towards your neck, you can begin to react. To do this, tuck your chin down to cover the gap between their hands and your neck. Then lift your shoulders to support your neck and sell the struggle of this move. Next, take hold of both of their hands and push them inwards towards your neck. Now person A needs to match your strength by pushing your hands outwards because they don't really want to strangle you. This means that person B is totally in control of this move and it is very important that you match your strength. You only need to push in or push out a little. It doesn't take much strength at all. So make sure you work together and find out what works for you both. This added feature creates a real battle between you both, making the move look real while remaining safe. So that's it, another lesson completed. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you again soon, warriors.